Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIOA. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIOA. In this new video, I will show you some examples of using HTML in Power BI Desktop to enhance your reports with cool visuals. Let me show you an example of a card created using HTML. The card is this one here at the right. It displays the image of our channel a brief description and a button to navigate to the channel in a new browser tab. As you can see, all these informations are displayed in one single visual. Let's now see another example to display our data dynamically. So let's get started. In this report, we have a movies table. It contains the title of the movie, the image link, year description details link and a rating note we want to create a nice card to display movie informations based on the slicer selection on the left first we need to import this html content visual to do so select get more visuals Then look for HTML content, select it, then click Add. The second thing we need is the HTML code that we will use in this visual. I have already prepared the code for this video. As you can see, it is an HTML page with the different elements and CSS. Let's create a new measure and pass the HTML code in it. The measure will return a text value. Let's display it using the HTML content visual. Nice, as you can see, we have this nice card with a nice effect. Let's now make it dynamically and change the default values by adding the data from the movies table. The idea is simple. We're going to concatenate the code with the selected value of each movie. For example, we can change the source of the image element so that it can retrieve the value from the table. Let's do the same for the hidden element to show the title. Here we will display the year. Then the description. And lastly, the value of the link for more details button. Let's validate our modifications and see the result.
As you can see, the visual content changes based on our selection, which is very nice. For the format options of the visual, there are two interesting features. The first one is the allow opening URLs, which is disabled by default. This feature helps us open a URL link. If I click on more details, nothing happens. But when I turn on this feature and try again, a new window appears telling us if you want to open the link. The second feature is the allow text select, which gives the possibility to select and copy a text from the visual. That's it for this second example. I will show you another way to display information using the same logic, but with a different HTML code. Here we display the movie information in a new card. We find the title, year, and the description. And at the bottom we have this bar displaying the value of the rating note. If I choose another movie, the size of the bar will change. So here we are at the end of this video. I would like to know if you use this visual in your reports and in what context. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.